Hey, there we go. Serverside development and rock and roll. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Morning, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. My turn to talk now. Okay. Time for software. Can you hear me? I'm going to start. Okay. Hello, everyone. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Raziel and I'm here with uh, Oleg and we're both the founders of CodeFresh and we have only 10 minutes. So what we'll try to do in 10 minutes is I tell you a little bit about what is CodeFresh and then we'll try very quickly uh, to take a microservices app, which we have learned very well what is microservices app. Uh, we'll take it and we'll dockerize it, we'll run it and we'll test it using the uh, CodeFresh platform. So. Without any further ado, what is CodeFresh? Um, CodeFresh is a Docker platform. We basically allow Dev and QA team. Uh, we accelerate the transition to uh, uh, to Docker, allow them to Dockerize their application, um, and then we also. How many of you, by the way, have heard about Docker using Docker? Awesome. So after, uh, after the transition, we also allow the rest of the team really take the benefits of Docker without, uh, um, had to know, without the, the need actually to get to know all the different technologies and commands and so on. And I think demo will do the best uh, justice with the uh, platform. So I'll switch into a live demo, which is usually not the best practice, but we'll try to do it. Okay. So this is how you log into CodeFresh. You can actually log in by either using your uh, GitHub credentials or Bitbucket, and we integrate with Stash as well. Um, in this example, I'll use GitHub. Now, the first thing that we will do is we'll add service. Um, the application that we'll dockerize at the moment is a simple chat application that requires two services. One is a Node.js service, and the other one is MongoDB. So we'll click on the um, add service, we will look for the repository. We'll specify the branch that we want to have as a default branch. Next, actually we can either choose that uh, um, our, rep our repository already has a Docker file, or we can let CodeForge just take the template Docker file for the different technologies. In this case, we have a Docker file, so we click on create, and then close and build. And then what happens now is that CodeFresh will immediately start building a Docker image for our first um, service. That might take a few seconds for the first time, but then for any commit that any one of the team members is going to make, or for any pull request, the time it takes to build a Docker image will be, uh, will be way faster. Uh, by the time it builds, if we're taking a look at the different models that we have in CodeFresh, so here is actually when we define the individual services, Below that, as we know, every um, microservices app is actually is a composition, cannot run on its own. So we have a place in which we can define the composition. Here is where we're monitoring the builds. So each time there is a commit, a new Docker image is going to be built, and tests that will be executed, and here we can view the images. So now since this process completed, let's go to the images view, and we can see the image that we've just built for our service. If we click on it, we can see all the information for this, uh, for this uh, um, image. We can see the commit info. If we run tests, we will also see the test results here. Uh, we can see the Docker file that was used to build that service. And we can see all the logs that were collected while we we're building that, serve, that uh, um, image. OK. Now we can do a few action on this image. We can try to run this image. Um, and CodeForge allows you to run as many dev and test environment. But in fact, if I will try to run it now, we can see that it will probably fail. And the reason it failed is because this service cannot run on its own. Uh, to run our application, we need to have both the Node.js service as well as the um, MongoDB. So let's create our first composition. We'll come here. We'll, cl we'll click on Add New Composition. I'll give it a name. And then let's start adding the services. So the first service will be the first the service that we've just configured. We click on the Add button. And then as we can tell, CodeFresh will start building a Docker Compose file for us. So we support both Docker Compose, uh, Docker Compose version 1 and version 2. In this case, it's version 1. We can add another image, which is a simple Mongo. 
we can tweak our file here, so we can say the port will be 5,000, and we can specify the links. And then, once we save the composition, when we go back to the image, we can, in fact, when we want to run this image, we can tell Confresh, don't run it as a standalone, but actually run it as a composition. And when we click it this way, Confresh will, in fact, benefit Docker Compose. How many of you here working with Docker Compose? Awesome. So this will run Docker Compose in the backend, either on a single node or um, on a swarm, which means we can aggregate multiple nodes if your composition is a little bit more complex. And this will allow us immediately to, um, to see how the application works. So it will take a few seconds for the first time for it to finish. And here, the composition is up. If I click on Open Up, we can, in fact, um, we can see the, um, the Let's Shut application running. We can also get into the environment. Here is where we, we can actually see all the environment that we have executed. So this is the one that actually failed because it could not run on its own. Um, I can terminate it. This is the one that we've just spin up. I can open it. I can see that there are two containers running. At any point of time, I can get access directly to the logs of uh, the application that we just spin up. So this was really, really fast of how we can start adding the services and run, uh, run a dev or test environment. If we go back to the service itself and take a closer look at how we can configure the pipeline, so we click here on the uh, pipeline icon. Then we can see, and we'll do that very briefly, we can see the different settings that we can put each time a commit is made on, each, um, on this repository. So we can uh, specify the image name. Then we can say whether our repository already has a Docker file or we're using the template. If you're using the template, again, Kotwash will bring us a default template for the different technologies, and we can tweak here the file that, um, that Codefresh will add. Then we can specify the uh, unit test command, so I can add here, gulp test. Obviously, if I save it now and I will rerun the build, we will see that immediately after building the Docker image, Codefresh will start running the unit test. And we can see the unit test here, we can see the unit test on the, uh, um, on the image view. Um, again, we can see that we have just run another build. Each time you can either run this build or go and see all the logs for the build. Uh, additional settings that we, can, uh, that we can put is we can also automate the process of, the, of uh, pushing that image to um, Docker Hub. We also support Bintray or private registry if you have. Um, you can set the integration testing, and this is super important. So one, one way I think you know can be um, how you offset it to um, send 1% of your traffic to your composition. Another way is to tell whenever this image uh, rebuilt, run the composition with this image, and then run your unit test or your integration test against that, that integration. By the way, we can do that also for unit tests. So if you're, even if that service cannot be tested on a unit test as a single, as a single uh, service, uh, you can come to the unit test and you say, okay, so even when you run this unit test, run it with a composition. So this was a very, very quick overview of, of Codefresh. Of, obviously, you know, you can come here, you can see us um, eating our own dog food. So that's a little bit more complex with the amount of, of services that we run. Uh, the composition looks a little bit more, um, more complex than the one we did on the, um, on the Let's Chat application. And here are the builds. Um, we will not be able to dive through all of it here in the demo. We highly encourage you guys, if you want to come and ask us um, questions, we're here at the booth. We can show you a little bit more about what we can do and how we can configure the pipelines. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.